Uh, welcome to this new video tutorial of Magento to purchase order extension and in today's video tutorial I'll be showing you how the admin can procure the uh, products using the auto and uh, manual mode. So the very first mode that we are going to show you is the auto mode and for that the very first thing need, uh, the very first thing that needs to be done is that we need to go to the configuration settings first. So I'll just open up the configuration page here and you can reach the page by navigating through stores and then configuration and under the web cool block you'll find the purchase management configuration settings. Here under the general options you just need to select the procurement method as automatic and after that you can also set the default prefix so we'll set it as uh, EOE for the time being and we'll save the configuration thereafter. So we have saved our uh, configuration settings. After this, I'll be taking you to the uh, product page now. Now here on the product page, uh, you can edit a, uh, edit a product uh, for which we want to procure the uh, items. So uh, we'll just edit this product first. And uh, after the product has been opened, you can see the edit product page. Now here we'll set the quantity as three for the time being. And uh, after that, we'll just navigate down to the suppliers section and here we'll add different suppliers who are selling the same product. So as this is just a demonstration, I've already added the suppliers here for this particular product. And I've set the quantity and the cost price as well. And after that, just save the product. So we have saved the product with the settings. That is uh, quantity we have set to three and we have added two suppliers to it. Now after this, we'll go to the front end uh, wherein uh, we'll be uh, purchasing the three quantity for this particular product so that the uh, stock goes out of the stock for this particular product. And thereafter we can check the uh, uh, whether the draft quotation has been created automatically or not. So what I'll do, I'll just go to the uh, front end now. So here on the front end, uh, I am with the same product. That's the duffel bag, just duffel bag. And here I'll be adding three quantities uh, to the cart. And I'll be purchasing them out so that uh, the uh, product goes out of the stock. And according to the settings that we have set, an automatic draft purchase uh, uh, or the uh, automatic draft uh, is gets created uh, after that so i'll go to the, the go to the cart i'll click the proceed to checkout button and on the checkout i'll just click the shipping and the other options that we have and i'll click the next button lastly i'll be clicking the uh, payment method here i'll select the payment method and click the place order button and here you can see that the order has been placed for uh, for the particular product that we had uh, added into the cart and the order number is uh, 110. Now let me go back to the uh, edit page in the admin backend for the same product and you can see the quantity is 3 and the stock is in stock. Let me refresh the page now and now I'll just uh, Take you through, and here you can see the quantity is zero now, and the stock status is out of stock now. So the product is already out of the stock now. So let's uh, go to the quotation section, and uh, that we can do by navigating through uh, purchase management, and then going to the quotations uh, section. Let me open that for you. So let me refresh the page for you. And after I've refreshed this page, you can see that the draft uh, quotation would be created uh, while I've selected the auto procurement method in the admin backend whenever the stock of a product goes out of uh, stock. So here you can see the POE that we had created the, uh, for the uh, prefix and uh, it's the date created for today. And the source document is 110 for the order that we placed and the supplier email is there. So uh, what actually happens is that in auto only a draft quotation is being prepared so as to uh, proceed further you can view this draft quotation and after that we can uh, move further and here on this page uh, you'll find the details regarding the uh, quotation uh, order 
and here you can send the email to the uh, supplier as well you can also confirm the quotation and after once uh, once you have confirmed the quotation all of the quotations will then be visible under the manage purchase order section uh, that you can find by navigating to purchase management and then going to the purchase order section so the purchase order section has all the okay the quotations and all the draft quotations would be fined under the uh, quotation section that's the first section there so uh, uh, here uh, you can also uh, update the items that you've ordered and you can also add a comment and you can also notify the supplier through the email and you can click the submit comment button as well so uh, Let's go ahead and let's uh, confirm this quotation and let's see if it appears under the uh, manage purchase order section thereafter. So here I've clicked on the confirm order quotation. So the quotation has been confirmed successfully and uh, you can also print the order from here or you can send any other email that is required by you to the admin there. You can also add the uh, uh, comment to this and you can also once again notify the supplier for the same so let me go to the manage purchase uh, order section now and here I'll just refresh the page and after the page is refreshed you can see the same orders here visible under the manage purchase order section and from here also you can give the uh, details of this product or if you want to print the orders you can print the orders if you want to cancel the orders you can cancel the orders as well Clicking the view button would bring up the section again and here you can check your incoming shipments as well by clicking the incoming shipment and to check all the shipments that are coming for this particular source document you can click the view button once again within that and this would open up the section for the edit uh, shipment section and here under the shipment information you can check the incoming shipments that are being uh, that are being scheduled and you can also uh, comment here if you want to make any comment uh, to that particular supplier check this option and click the submit button so uh, uh, so uh, that was much about the how the auto uh, procurement method works so let me go ahead and let me show you how the manual procurement method uh, uh, goes and for that I'll just take you once again through the same steps once again uh, but uh, a bit of difference is there so I'll just show you that so uh, for the manual one what we'll be doing is we'll be going to the configuration settings for the uh, extension once again and after that we'll be uh, selecting the procurement method under the general options as manual and after that we'll be saving the configuration settings and after that I'll go to the uh, same product once again and I'll be uh, I'll be making the quantity as uh, two and I'll make this product as in stock once again and I'll set the supplies for the product and after setting up the supplies by clicking the add new supplier button after I've uh, managed the suppliers here for this particular product I'll be saving up this product and here I've saved the product now what I'll do is I'll just go to the front end and I'll purchase the all the quantities uh, for this product so that the product goes out, to, out of the stock and I'll make it check out thereafter and on the checkout page I'll be selecting the shipping method and the other options that we have and lastly I'll be selecting the payment method and I'll click the place order button and here you can see that the order has been purchased and the order number is 111 so now what we need to do is so now I've navigated to the manage quotation section and here uh, I've reached by navigating to purchase management and then the quotations so for the manual one no draft purchase is created so that's why you are not able to see any of the draft purchases right now the already product uh, that uh, the already purchase order that we had created the draft one for the automatic uh, configuration for that I have created the actual one so that's why it's not visible under this section but you can check that under the purchase order section so uh, here you can see that the older order that we had 
purchase so we have already completed that order and the rest of the functionality for that so it's under the manage purchase order section so uh, now for the manual uh, configuration when you have set you just need to click the create new purchase order button first and here on this uh, page you need to fill in the quotation information you need to enter the source information that is the order number uh, that has uh, if you have the order number you can enter that order number for that otherwise if you uh, keep this uh, section as empty then uh, manual would be written for this uh, particular quotation so what we need to do is we need to select a supplier for this quotation so according to your need you can select the supplier for this uh, quotation and uh, after that you can see the supplier details are populated now you need to add the products for this particular supplier so you click the add products button there and after that you can select any of the products that are there within this particular order so i had only one that's the just duffel bag so i've selected that and just click the add selected products to quotation button that brings up the section here and you can see that the items orders are visible here now and after making this selection you can hit the create order button and this would create the draft purchase for the manual uh, procurement so you can see that the quotation was saved successfully and under the manage quotation section we have this new one but the name of the source document is manual because i left that uh, empty if i had entered the order number for that particular order so that uh, order number would be visible here under the source document and uh, you can see the purchase order id is here so now to uh, proceed further we'll click on the view button so we have already created the purchase uh, the draft quotation for the order that has, was placed there now under the quotation section here we have the same uh, data we need we can send the email to the uh, supplier we can update the data here we can add comments and we can notify the supplier by email as well by clicking the submit uh, comment button so uh, after that we have the confirm quotation button so clicking the confirm quotation button would create a purchase order for this uh, particular uh, draft quotation and after that you can also once again send the email to the supplier and uh, you can also confirm it by selecting notify supplier by email and click the submit button and apart from that you can also click the print order button to print the uh, shipment and clicking the incoming shipment button would bring up the section to show you the uh, products that are within that uh, shipment and clicking the view button would bring up the section having all the details of that of the incoming shipment also within the incoming shipment you can hit the parcel shipment whether for example if you are going to receive 10 products and you, you have received only 5 so you can set it as 5 and you can click the receive now for the particular 5 products so this would create 2 purchase orders one with ready to receive and other as waiting kind of thing so uh, that was the parcel shipment one so uh, yes that was uh, much about this and I hope it helped you out and I've showed you both the auto and the, uh, auto and the manual configuration settings that have been set for the auto procurement and uh, how to create the uh, draft quotation and how to proceed further after that. Hope it helped you out and thanks for watching this video.